ever heard of the legend that is Serena Williams? Winning an astonishing 39 major titles in a career is no easy feat for a mere mortal in the world of tennis. But like they say, legends are born to achieve what legends are made of. Do they say that? They probably should. In this video, we'll be talking about the revelation of Serena, who states that she will be coming back. As breathtaking as that sounds, we are left to imagine what the returning of the legend would mean for the young players who have gotten too comfortable dominating the game for a while now. This has left us wondering, why is Serena going to participate in tennis again? Why is she not thinking of retirement, as we all anticipate she will? Is the goal to set a new record for the next event? Or is it simply her enthusiasm for the competition? We'll find out that and more as we dive deep into this video. So sit tight and relax as we open your eyes to the revelation of a legend. Serena Williams, the woman who formerly held the position of world number one in women's tennis, has announced that she'll be competing again in the sport. Quite a thrilling announcement at the time, even amongst people who aren't particularly interested in tennis. Serena Williams' status as the most famous female tennis player in the world and even in history is undeniable. In 1995, Serena made her professional debut, and she has continued to have tremendous success throughout her career. During her career, Serena has finished as the world's number one singles player five times and spent a record 319 weeks in that position overall. With a record 23 Grand Slam titles, Serena is the female tennis player with the second most number of Grand Slam victories. Amazing, right? It's reasonable to assume that a player who is 40 years old and has established a tremendous record would be content to hang up her racket at this point in her career, relax, and retire from the sport. We have all had that same assumption. However, instead of retiring, Serena has shared that she does not plan to retire in the near future. I guess she isn't done with smashing those records. Even though she is 40 years old now, the greatest player in the history of women's tennis has repeatedly demonstrated that she is not someone to be overlooked. After suffering a loss in the first round of Wimbledon in 2021 due to a leg injury, there were widespread rumors that Serena would retire from the sport. She had been absent from the court up until the point when she shocked the world and announced that she would compete in the 2022 Wimbledon. Even if it is possible that Serena will never play at her highest level again, it'll be exciting to see how far she can progress. In order to compete in the US Open, the player who was once ranked number one but is currently ranked 401 will need to participate in a few tournaments to improve her ranking. The National Bank Open in Toronto and the Cincinnati Open are both on her schedule to compete before the start of the US Open. We're watching closely to see how she plans to fit all those tournaments into her schedule and make things happen. Following the injury that Serena sustained at Wimbledon 2021, she was required to take a short sabbatical in order to properly manage her health and ensure that she was sufficiently fit before returning to tennis. It's quite unlikely that the 23-time Grand Slam winner would choose to retire from tennis in such a manner, preferring instead a more graceful and deserving exit. We shouldn't be quick to forget that Serena's all-time 23 titles are still the second best since Margaret Court won her 24th title 49 years ago. No one in the history of tennis has come close to beating this record, and no one in recent times comes close to breaking it except Serena herself. We believe that there's still a window of opportunity to surpass this record and smash it as long as Serena gets the chance to keep competing. Sometime in April, Serena posted a video to her Instagram story in which she was seen chatting with NFL quarterback Aaron Rodgers. In the caption, she says, We've been talking about my comeback, and he's been hyping me up and getting me ready for Wimbledon. Can't wait. Since she has not competed in over a year, the former world number one did not have an official ranking on the ATP while she was on her break, so this has caused quite a stir, and many people have questioned how is it even possible? This is because during her break, the former world number one did not have an official ranking at all on the ATP. After this, Serena realized that in order to achieve her goal, she would need to put in a significant amount of effort, and her first match back on the court was a doubles match. In June, she competed in the Eastbourne International alongside Ons Jabir for the first time since her return to competitive tennis. She had a successful comeback at Eastbourne, beating Sara Sorabes Tormo and Marie Buskova in three sets by scores of 2 6, 6 3, and 13 11. This victory came after she had been out of the public eye and out of competition for an entire year. 
It's an incredible comeback and an excellent game from the champion, and we anticipate seeing a great number of more spectacular games in the future. It's been speculated by a lot of people that William's objective is to win more matches than Margaret Court did, but we have to ask ourselves, will she be able to do this? Or is this feat as easy as she might think it is? This is due to the fact that following Serena's impressive victory at Eastbourne, she's not been successful at her alleged recovery game plan, which is to compete at Wimbledon. At Wimbledon 2022, Serena suffered the same fate as she did in 2021. She was eliminated in the first round of the competition. Although Serena's loss in 2021 could have been attributed to a knee injury, this time around, she was defeated by French woman Harmony Tan with a record of 7-5-1-6-7-6. In spite of the fact that many people have stated that the high has once again fallen, it is safe to disagree with them because she has demonstrated a tremendous deal of strength and zeal during these matches. In addition, regardless of any issues, age is on Serena's side. Following the match, Serena posted on her Instagram account saying, That was insane and intense. Not the result I came for, but my goodness, I enjoyed that. I hope you did as well. Nothing in the world of sports can compare to the elegance of excellent sportsmanship. It's encouraging to know that she is both physically and mentally stronger than she was the last time we saw her on the same court. And most importantly, that she enjoyed the game even though it did not go the way she had hoped for in terms of the outcome of the match. This shows how extraordinary a player she is. When asked if it was her final match, seven-time Wimbledon winner Serena Williams responded, That's a question I can't answer, I don't know. This occurred after Serena suffered a loss during the tournament. She continued, Who knows where I'll pop up? Also, I gave all I could do. Maybe tomorrow I could have given more. But today, this was what I could do. At some point, you have to be able to be okay with that. We are left to wonder if she will actually return to Wimbledon with the phrase, at some point you have to be okay with that, which seems more like she has surrendered herself to the outcome of the match than a declaration of her intent to compete. It's clear that the tennis legend has a lot of work to do in order to get herself into playing shape. The return of Serena Williams will not be confined to just Wimbledon. She is scheduled to compete in Toronto and Cincinnati prior to the start of the US Open. When asked if she would be participating in the US Open, she said, Wimbledon is before the US Open. I got to play Wimbledon first. After her match against Tan, she said, When you're at home, especially in New York, and the US Open, that being the place I've won a Grand Slam, is something that's always super special. She continues, There's definitely lots of motivation to get better and to play at home. It'll be incredible to watch Serena compete at the US Open and have the opportunity to win her 24th title on the same court where she won her very first Grand Slam tournament. The return of Serena Williams has been so far not as much as we expected. However, the tennis icon has proven that she didn't mince words when she announced her comeback. Her name still causes the young players who seem to be dominating this era to tremble once they receive the news that they'll be playing against her at any stage of a tournament. She definitely is someone that can't for any reason be written off, because looking down on a legend like Serena Williams would mean prioritizing an impending doom. She has done really well since her comeback, but we're all hoping that in the end it'll have been worth it, and she'll be able to achieve the record that she has set out so passionately to beat. The star has been seen wearing black tape on her face, and when asked about it, she said, My secret's out. I'm a sinus sufferer. Playing tennis or pretty much doing anything every day is not easy when you have sinuses. You feel a lot of pressure, congestion, and pain. And training for Grand Slams, such as Wimbledon and the French Open, it's not easy.